Okay, this Zenith carburetor has been soaking a few days in my acid solution. I'm just going to do a check up on it to see what it's looking like. Check the air passages and uh, fuel passages to see the butterflies are working. This is my water solution over here. We're rinsing it off. See the bottom here. It's doing. That's still got some of the original like black on it. And everything else that's not the black paint was rusty. So now it's got it down to uh, the bare metal. You can tell by the, uh, the solution here, it was clear and now it's pretty silted up. Oh yeah, look at that, the bowl is nice and clean now. down in the, the throat there. It's coming out clean and boy that bowl really cleaned up good. I'm going to be working on these rusty shock absorbers and some other bumper brackets and parts. Okay, these uh Shock absorbers for a Model A have been soaking for several days. So we can just take a look at them. Yeah, they were pretty rusty. That's the uh, a cover. It's threaded inside here. Got most of the rust off of that one. Full bar. Let's see. There's the actual cover. That looks pretty good. You can see it's got the metal pretty much. get it to come apart. Uh, went ahead and soaked the whole shock absorber. You know, the outside is looking pretty good. You may ask why you try to restore these rusty old shock absorbers. It's actually difficult to find original shock absorbers and a restored set can be a thousand dollars and uh, this works pretty good because the metal is so thick on these shock absorbers that um, a little bit of rust that it's eaten away doesn't really affect the function out of the shock absorber. On thinner metal parts, you'd want to be a little bit more careful on uh, how long you've soaked it in the acid because it's actually, it actually will keep eating away at the, uh, the metal until the metal disappears. Well, they're looking pretty good, and uh, overall, 
They're in pretty good shape. Okay, I'm gonna do a check on these parts that I, I pulled out and uh, put in some like acid solution and just see where they've gotten to. This is um, about about 12 hours, I think, in the tank. See the light coloring in there? That's the metal coming through. Working its way through the layers, years of buildup. I, I just barely wiped these off before, so they actually have a layer of dirt on it too. But this has got that tar buildup. Move it. Extra bracket. This thing was really rusty. So it's going to take some more soaking on it. found that if you keep wiping it down, there you go, look at that. Keep wiping the uh, rust layer off. Let's see, look at that, bare metal. And the black is, some of the original paint that the acid leaves the paint alone or doesn't eat through it as quick I guess. Bumpers were originally nickel plated. So there's a spot where the uh, nickel hasn't been scratched off. I think that's what made these so bad is the They've just been banged and scratched up so much that it's not looking too bad. You can see up here at the top what it used to look like. And then down here is where it was in the solution. Bumper brackets in it, but you can see the original 
down here and then I just lightly wipe it off and uh, it's starting to come back. This one you can see too where the nickel was protected by the, uh, the little oval Ford emblem and uh, you know, that part of the nickel is still in really good shape. The rest of it will have to be replated maybe one day. But, you, know, you can get new brackets, new reproduced brackets and bumpers. I'm kind of debating whether to just keep it not a rat rod, but keep it original. We'll just see. Let's see which one's next. Uh, another bumper bracket. You can see again right here where the uh, Ford Oval was. underneath where it was protected and that's people don't realize chrome plating is actually three layers it layered in copper which adheres to the steel really well then they put nickel which is the shiny part which you can see here and then the chrome is actually more like a, a clear coat for the top and uh, protects the nickel. That's where 2829 Ford didn't do the chrome. Yeah, I guess to make the cars cheaper, he uh, cheaped out on it and just went with the nickel. But the nickel doesn't isn't protected over time. You can see, you know, there's the shine that you see on chrome plating. That's actually a layer of nickel, which is a, a metal that you could polish up and make shiny like a mirror. But these are starting to clean up, you know, from what they were here. Like I said, this is just a 12 hour soak, so I'm probably gonna let them soak some more. I'm try to get them fairly clean and then we'll see what to do with them. those little Ford oval brackets kind of protected the one spot on the bumpers. But these have really been eaten up. And like I said, you can buy all this stuff if you have money buy new reproduct reproduced parts. But these are the originals from well 1929 and then the ones that my dad had on it in the 50s but he, he drove it. 
That'd be nice to preserve what uh, what he had at that time. So even if I end up buying some the replacement reproduced bumpers, I'd still have these hanging the wall in the garage or whatever. Preserve them and stop them from rusting anymore. And this this isn't really the strongest solution either. I, uh, it's, it's kind of been watered down. this out and mix up some new solution that would uh, have done more in 12 hours. I don't know if there's anything else in that bucket. Let me just quickly show you what the uh, clean water is now looking like. See how it looks muddy, but it's actually rusty. And this was clean water when I started. So that's what it, it's been doing. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. And click the subscribe button, it's free. And it just it helps you know, those of us creating content. It keeps track of how many uh, People are actually subscribing to the channel and uh, popularity of the channel and then uh, click the like button put a comment down and uh, say whether you enjoy watching this or you learned something or it's informative or just to say hi I had a few comments from uh, people from uh, Australia that was interesting that that actually made my day and uh, Wayne's garage down there in Australia on the east coast of Australia um, so anyways, all right, everybody, take care.